Hi guys, Crystal here from the Boys and Girls Club. My children and I went on a nature walk the other day and we were talking about different environments and where animals live. And I'm not quite sure how we got on the topic of beavers, but I thought it would be fun to make a beaver's dam at home. So my son and I collected some stuff from our local park and we made sure that we didn't take anything from any trees, nothing living, because we didn't want to hurt any, but any plants or animals' environments and where they live. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you. So we collected some pine cones and some branches. We've got these pine needles. There's some wood, some rocks. We've got some water, some more rocks. We've got some sand. And we're gonna do it in this bucket. So I'm just gonna put you up here so you can see. So to get started, I'm gonna put some sticks in. Are you starting the dam now, Mom? It's gonna be a little small, but hopefully. So when beavers build their homes, they have really, really sharp teeth and they collect a lot of sticks. You and when they this? collect the sticks, they chew them and they make sure, like our houses are built from wood and bricks, beavers build their homes with sticks and they build them in rivers and streams. So we're gonna put some rocks in. I don't know if anybody's ever been to a creek or if you've seen a beaver they have very very sharp teeth and that's how they chew the wood so we're gonna put some pine cones in there sticks. some more sticks, sticks. So we want to make sure this little dam is nice and strong for this beaver to live in then after it's done we can put the water in yes we'll put the water in So we're going to use a pine cone as a pretend beaver and he's inside his little home here. I'm going to put some sand in here. Oh, can I help you put some sand too? What about we just dump sand? Because creeks and rivers and oceans, they all have sand in them, but they have different kinds of sand. I'll put some rocks. Now we're gonna pour some water in. Do you see what ha what's happening to the rocks when I pour the water on? They're getting wet. They're getting darker. Why do you think they're getting darker? Because that's what happens to rocks when they go wet. That's what happens. Yeah. Wait. They change color. Do they have enough water? And we're gonna pour it a little bit. Put some more. And the water is getting dirty. I think that one may be too big. We can try. There we go. Let's get down there. So, I don't know if you can see it, but our little beaver, he lives right in there. And he's sleeping right now. Oh, Mama, can we put one more beaver? So, if you wanted to, you could build a beaver's dam or a bird's nest at your house. Just make sure that you don't take anything from the trees. Everything we got, we collected from the ground. We didn't hurt any trees. We didn't take any leaves off any trees while we were doing this because we didn't want to hurt any living things. And we have to remember that everywhere there is something living in somewhere. There's a spider crawling on my arm. Like a real spider? So if you wanted to build a creek at home, you could do the same thing. Just ask your mom and dad before you take anything from their gardens or their front yards or their backyards because we don't want to make our parents mad when we're taking stuff from their gardens. Mama. Bye guys. Mama.